Hello friends, welcome back to our channel and today we are going to talk about one of the important service provided by Azure which is Azure Key Vault. Either you work on any type of project or any type of scenario either be it a web application or be it a, you are working on some data related project or either you are working on machine learning project. You have to deal with a lot of keys, secret, password, certificates how you are going to make sure that this is secure and you are keeping in a secure place. You, you do not want to put into code, right? Somebody can look at the code. If somebody gets the access the code, they get the password, access the password. If somebody gets the, if we are putting into some database, if in the in a form of table, somebody gets that one, uh, your password and your keys and other things will be exposed, right? So, that is why this service is so much critical service and it is one of the most used services in Azure. So let's go ahead and see about a little bit more details about this one and then we are going to create using Azure portal. So Azure Key Vault is a service provided by Azure Cloud to store your keys. Uh, Maybe you are encrypting some uh, any any data using some key, right? And maybe you have some secret tokens or maybe some password or something like that. You are using some certificate for doing some of the things like HTTPS certificate or something. How you are making sure that they are uh, secure? Where you are keeping that one? You should not keep that into your code. You should not keep into your databases. You should not keep into your some files, right? So you have to use some service where you are making sure that it is secure and maybe you want to audit that one that who has access this one maybe you want to get some alert based on that on expiry data okay maybe you want to limit that access on that one that some only some people can access that one so this is one service is going to give the all the benefit which we are talking about that one so this service uh, solve a lot of problems like you have to manage your certificate key vaults um, secrets so all this we are going to see quickly so azure key vault has two service tier one is a standard where whatever a secret or token we are going to store in that one it is going to be encrypted by a software key if we are going with premier premium tier then uh, it is going to use a hard hsm protected key hsm is device you know that hsm is a hardware device physical computing device that that safeguards or manage digital key which key is being used to encrypt your your key that is going to be in that hsm devices in hsm device is most used into banking sector and other places to safeguard all this digital key so this is a great solution if you are, you have highly you want to make go for highly secure then you can go for premium plus uh, which gives that hsm uh, feature why to use azure keyword as we are speaking at that you want to centralize application secret you want to securely access that one you want to store and access securely right you want to monitor and use that one then you want to manage that simplified administration of the secret. Maybe you want to integrate with other services also, right? So uh, you do not want to put a lot of different places all the secrets. So you can put in central location and use that. But yeah, you should not all your organization secret into one key vault. You might want to uh, go with application wise or you might want to go for team wise or whatever your... Uh, production secrets can be going to production related keyword pre-prod can go into pre-prod related secret complaint wise also can bifurcate it you can integrate with azure disk encryption if you are encrypting any azure disk right if you are using in vm and encrypting that one you can leverage this feature this integration for that one if you are working on sql services where you want to use td right to encryption doing some encryption then you can use that one if you are leveraging app services and you are connecting to any other api where you are using some size kind of token you can use this services if you are your app services are using HTTP and you have certificate for that one you can use that one so you can use from arm template devops pipeline any places you want to use that one in in our data factory you can use that one if you are connecting to third party anything where you are not using managed services identity you can leverage these services so let's go and quickly create one uh, evolt and see how it looks like into portal 
so let me go ahead into uh, so we have as usual we have our subscription and resource group let me go and find this service let me select my subscription resource group let me put that one which region we are going to use that we have to put and here pricing tier where, where we talked about like standard and premium right premium has included for hsm back gauge so for this demo i'm going with a standard only uh, in recovery option that somebody accidentally deleted your keys right then you can recover also soft delete is the feature for you want to retrieve that one right or somebody is deleted key vault itself so then also you can you can put that one that okay how much day you want to retrieve that one some some settings you can do that one and how this key vault is going to be used either you want to use for virtual machine deployment you can mark that one enable access to azure virtual machine services for deployment arm template disk inscription and other, apart from that one you know, there are other ways where you can get a specific key uh, secret uh, url or key url to reference in your application and other things and here you uh, when we are creating that one we are adding by default who are that access people later also uh, we will see that how to add that access policy and other things so there are two type of access policy we can set either we can go with access policy vault access policy or either we can leverage the rbac which is provided by azure so let's go with this one and when we go for networking, uh, you can restrict the access from selected network or private endpoint, making more secure for this one, right? So let's go and create this one. Okay, so it is created. This key vault has been created. Now let's go to resource. And once you we come to resource view, we see that, okay, how to manage secret and app services, how to control access. We can go into access policy and see that one. And we will talk about that one, how to enable the logs and diagnostic setting. We will see a little bit on that one and how to enable the recovery settings and other things. We can see this one, right? So basically we can get activity log who has done what for that one. Uh, and also our back setting we can put that one who has access on this resources if you want to access that resource uh, um, control on that one we can give at that okay crypto user crypto key vault reader which kind of our back you want to give that people or any um, SPNs or any managed identity we can go ahead and give that one if you want to enable eventing based on this one that okay okay something has happened on this one so we can do we can do that one also so now in this section if you go in setting here we can import key if you are using some key we can put that key test key if we, are, you, we have that one which kind of key it is there rsa key which kind of size we are using and what is the date expiration date and other things so that uh, it can do we can set up that rotation policy also that okay in, it is going to expire in some time so you have to enable that that automation so you have to give that one that okay uh, when it is going to enable and what is that notification time and other things right second part where we can go in secret where we can if you have any you are using service account or you are using application experience where you have tokens or you have a secret we can go ahead and uh, put that one uh, here that okay my secret whatever is there your secret you can put that details and then activation date expiration date all this you can put so that you, you should be able to get the notification also if you configure that one so if you go into this one uh, this secret and this version you will get an URI right secret identifier where you have bold details and other things and this is the version of this uh, secret so this is the name of secret this is the version of secret there will be multiple there can be multiple version so you are going to reference this url into code and once you reference that url uh, your application or your uh, context user context had to be added into policy that uh, you are going to access so which kind of access you have depending upon you are going to access either get permission set list update 
all this permission you can set depending upon your requirement that okay somebody some application should only use the key management somebody some application should use that only secret management right something can be used by only git some application may be updating something some is deleting that right so you can do all of the things on this one then you can set up that uh, which application has access or which user has access you can set up all the details from here and this will come into this list for that one you can restrict from network also that from which network it is coming or which ipr it is allowed to access that one or uh, only from some private endpoint it is coming and you can mark that one okay allow trusted microservice to bypass the firewall so that if you have deployed any code into azure app services uh, function app any other places you this will be not used on that cases so in the security we we can enable the microsoft defender for cloud it will give that real time uh, recommendation or um, and it will also uh, reduce that exposure to network threat and other things we can do that one also and we can set up different kind of alerts based on this one uh, we can enable uh, diagnostic settings where all these logs will go that audit logs all this event is going to either log analytics uh, storage or uh, event hub if you want to know about real time and other things and then you can uh, keep this one for your compliance purpose or maybe different uh, uh, some uh, some audit is happening for this keyword and then you can keep all these details so this is this is one of the most useful tool and if you go into sdks that okay it has power cells integration sdk cli dotnet java python node uh, this has great um, um, SDK for this tool so we can go ahead and leverage that one into from our code that is what I wanted to talk about today in this video I hope this will be useful for you thank you